Hello, my name's Toby Thompson. I'm with Gabriella Alvarez uh, on graduation day. Gabriella, you look amazing in your graduation robes. You've Thanks. finished your DBA. <laughs> Tell me, what was the title of your DBA? It was a very long title, but in short, <laughs> it was how organizations manages, manage to work together uh, to build a sustainable supply chain. And the case we used was Nespresso, which was also good coffee. So <laughs> uh, that was the case I, I researched, and that was what my thesis was based on. So you sat here after four years of study? Four long years. On the day it finishes? Uh, on the day it finishes. Today they give me the little paper and I uh, pose for the pictures, and it's the big uh, celebration. So I have to ask, perfect. how was it for you? How was that four years? It was amazing. It was, uh, it was a, a life experience. Um, it, was, it was long. It was difficult. It was uh, fun. Uh, it, it, was a, it was a very important experience, I think, and also to do it a bit later in, in, in life when you have quite a bit of work experience. And, uh, and a very challenging part, which is to manage your life that continues and studies, uh, pursuing an, an academic degree, which was quite challenging, work, family uh, degree. That was probably the most challenging part of the whole four years. So did you come to the four, first, first year there with a clear question that you wanted to answer, or you were, were you hoping that the process would carry you through? As my supervisor said, you have like 100 questions or 25 questions. Yes, I did come with one question, with a lot more than one question. And that was a very challenging thing as a consultant, uh, which is a lot of what I do. You have very broad topics, or what in academics would be very broad. And here you need to bring it down, narrow it down so much um, that that's very challenging. I'm very tempted to pick up a bit more and a bit more, and just the discipline to focus on a single question and answer it with a method was a, was a great learning, but very difficult. The first year was very challenging in trying to narrow down to the question. I guess I was not used to academic parlance and academic process would think, why be so narrow? Have you been able to use that narrow focus to good effect in your work and your consultancy? Yes, uh, in other, uh, I've, I've done some other research after that, or I'm in the process of that, and for that, narrow questions. And the challenge, I think, is to communicate and to make the jump between the broader world, because you cannot go back to the practice either with a very narrow answer. <laughs> so how do you go from that uh, question and, and answer very methodically correct uh, approach to broadening the implications to a wider audience and making it have practical application? And that, I think, is the, is the key thing, which is the DBA. Uh, and that was true, how they sold it to me and how it was true which is not only a contribution to the academic community, but it has to be grounded in practice. And that's, a, that's an additional tension in trying to make those two things happen at the same time, that you can make a contribution to the academic world, but that you don't forget that you need to make a contribution to practice, to managers doing their everyday jobs. And I guess part of that contribution comes out of the crucible of the relationship between you and your supervisor. Can you tell us a bit about yes. how did that work for you, that supervisor relationship? Uh, very good. We, uh, we, uh, I met him the first day when I came to Cranfield to ask, and, and, and he had very interesting things to say. He's more focused on supply chain. Um, and I'm more on sustainability and other issues, so it was quite complimentary in, in the areas. And then he and this also, is Richard, Richard Wilding. This is Richard Wilding, yeah, yeah. yes. And also had a fantastic panel, which also is Hugh Wilson and Colin Peelburn. And between them, they had uh, so much experience and interdisciplinary, and the questions they asked and how they pushed me <laughs> in each of those very painful panel meetings uh, was, was excellent, was, was a really good life. Uh, learning experience. You mentioned pain there. So in between each panel meeting or, or, or session with the supervisor, was there a, a, an empty period where you were left on your own? How do you know? A lot. That? It, it does depend a lot on your own discipline and your own uh, your own process. And then you have checkpoints. The good thing about uh, Cranfield's DBA, which I think is different from many others, is that you still have deadlines that are periodic. Um, so you do have a, after one year, you have to submit something, a year and a half, two years, and that gives you also more discipline. When you have a client commitment that is uh, due next week, uh, something that is due in four years is very easy <laughs> to push uh, further. So having these intermediate deadlines was an excellent thing. In between those deadlines, yes, there's a lot that you need to do yourself. You need to decide that this is what you want to do, dedicate the time, and time 
for research goes in a different time sphere <laughs> than in practice. So you need to dedicate afternoons, not an hour, <laughs> but you need to dedicate big chunks of time, which is which is quite challenging if you're your meetings and deadlines and life and um, so that's a very challenging part you need to to click and be very committed I agree it, it was painful <laughs> you sound like you enjoyed it though despite the yes, pain so where is this going to take you is it more research involved or how, how are this going to pan out in your, in your work um, I, I, I work a lot in the development world in uh, with the United Nations and I also work with corporations um, and I, I really want to push the topic of sustainability as a poverty reduction and environment and how that can match with corporations being successful and having a competitive advantage. And I need to link all that uh, to push it forward. And the DBA has given me a very good base on where to integrate those two worlds and, and, and move it forward. And hopefully stay with a leg in the academic world as well, which I really enjoy. I enjoy very much. Gabriela, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.